if you saw my last video, you saw that I was still having trouble. I put the new lens in, but I was getting burned off center yet, and um, I was having trouble with stuff getting up in there and burning it, and I decided to do a complete alignment. Now, here I pulled the one mirror off the lens here, and you can see it's um, it's pretty dirty looking. Uh, you know, I thought I had cleaned it good up there, but um, doesn't seem to be any way to just replace this lens. You kind of have to... Uh, clean it there and then I pulled out this bag of targets that were with it and I always wondered what they were for and I finally figured out that they're for lining the tool and some of them fit right in that um, lens opening there fit nice and tight and there you can see they just stay in there and some of them are a little bit loose you have to put tape on the bottom to hold them in place but basically they are a target to try to hit the center with the um, laser and uh, turns out being a pretty good challenge getting this all lined up and stuff but uh, if you watch this video you see what I wound up doing and these um, that little holder does have a couple little pins to do the preliminary alignment with it and my air pump had a lot of dust in it so I just blew that out for now I'm gonna wait and see if this um, what I'm doing to the lenses here makes a difference before I play with that. So I this time I grabbed some of my lens wipes and uh, one of my microfibers for my camera supplies. And I figure I'll try that on the mirror here. And these things are, are usually really good at removing just about everything from camera lenses. So I figured I'd give them a try because I didn't, you know, have really great luck with alcohol and alcohol sometimes left some smudges and stuff that were hard to get off. So, one thing I'm going to warn you about is uh, when you're doing this aligning, every time you shoot at that target, you're going to have to clean the lens again. It makes a really nasty soot that gets it dirty, I found out. I got it wiped out pretty good. And, uh, let's just open up this microfiber here and wipe it down some. And there you can, you'll show you in a second. It looks pretty good, but there is one burnt spot in it, and that looks like that was, uh, must have been where the laser was hitting it. You can see there, and I'm hoping that I'm going to move it enough now to um, avoid that spot, so we'll see. So one thing I did find out is some 16-gauge little brads actually fit in those preliminary alignment holes to get it started. So I stuck, uh, you know, just hung it in place there with the two brads just to, you know, have the location pretty much set. And then put the screws in. And I will tell you, uh, one warning is don't over tighten these screws. It's very thin aluminum plate they go into and you will be putting longer screws and nuts on the back. And don't ask me how I know. But anyhow, so I'm going to just pull those pins out and go back and set it up and do a test fire. Now I'm using that controller that I put on here. I'm not sure how you do that with light burn, but there you can see I, I did a test fire. And that's where it was from the factory. It was off in that direction. Actually it was off in the other direction too, but that's when you're down in the focus position and I'll explain that later. I made the mistake of doing all these alignments preliminary with the lens in the up position, the home position when you home it. And it turned out that's not the right way to do it. So, one thing I had to do to, to shift that lens is take the cap off this uh, mirror assembly down here. Um, there's no way to easily just adjust the mirror. You have to move the whole assembly. And there's a cap there. And then once you pull that off, there's a couple screws down in there. You can see those three socket head cap screws. You have to loosen up. And then try to shift the mirror without twisting it or anything else to keep everything in perfect alignment. And then I'm going to go back and take another shot and getting, getting closer here. Not quite perfect yet. But then you have to um, do it at both ends of the travel too because if you're a little bit out of uh, you parallel to the rail you have a problem too. So I shot, you know, I did all these things. I fired one end and fired the other end. You know, this was using just one target. You could kind of see where the two shots were. But again, you have to clean the lens between, or the mirror between them because of that black stuff. 
So that wasn't quite quite right. And if you look there, you'll see that cover there. I cut off the tabs below those metal retainers that hold it in place to make it easy to pick right off. And again, you just push the fire button on the controller, and I'm not sure how you do it in light burn, but I spent four hours by the time I was done going back and forth um, trying to get this uh, this aligned. Um, it's it's kind of weird because sometimes when you tighten the screws, it moves a little bit, and uh, sometimes it twists a little bit because you're playing the screw holes. And, you know, eventually uh, you'll get it. But see that one target there? The X in it is completely off the center, so be careful when you look at it. They're not all perfect. So now I'm getting I'm getting close here after kind of adjusting uh, the angle of that mirror and the location of that uh, other mirror set on the other side. And here you can see I do a shot at both sides and look at it and try to try to get it close uh, a couple more adjustments here and I'll be I'll be close and then uh, finally there you can see how you need tape but finally I got it just about perfect pretty close um, front to back but the left to right I couldn't get quite perfect and there it is I finally got that mirror adjusted perfect but the thing was I was doing this with the lens in the up home position all the time and these are all the targets that I use trying to get that far. And the big problem was when you put the lens in, it shoots off the center of the bottom of the lens and it won't go out the hole in the bottom when you put the cap on. So actually I just did a quick sketch here. I'll show you, you know, exactly what was going on with mine. Hopefully yours won't have this. But on the left you can see where that beam is actually coming down on an angle and not hitting the center of the lens. Where I had to get it to the point where it was like on the right where the beam would be coming down exactly 90 degrees to the lens so it would go out both sides so there you see i shot through and um, when i put it down in the focus position it wouldn't go out and that thing does move about 12 millimeters so you know it changes as you go down when it's not on the right angle so i pulled that lens off again and put some tape around it tried drilling out the holes a little bit bigger in it and I didn't want to go any bigger and I couldn't get it adjusted right at that point so then I took out a little micro file there and just started filing so I was able to um, to shift a little bit closer to the center line now I don't know if this is just the one I got was like this or what or you know if they're all like this but you know to get a perfect alignment I did have to um, to file and make some modifications on that bracket and I covered it. I covered the mirror with some tape, um, just so I wouldn't get anything on it or damage it. So now it's time to go back and try to get this mirror lined up. And I did have to put little washers, real thin little washers, on those screws. And again, be careful tightening those screws because they will strip out. Now another problem I ran into was the bottom of the lens where they machined it, it had a little radius on there so I couldn't get it sitting all the way down flat either. And I just took a little V-file, three-sided file, and I went in there and took that radius off. You see the hole in the plate is actually got a square corner where it should have had a little chamfer on it. But that solved it for me and you know I got everything down tight and put it back together. Okay, so now I'm going back to um, start all over again on the alignment because messing with the mirror actually moved the alignment some. And then I actually ordered from eBay a couple days ago some 15 millimeter generic cloud wet ray lenses that I'm going to try to replace my lens with. Um, this is just a shot in the dark that I'm going to try and actually it turned out great. Um, this is the these are the lenses that I ordered, and I'll put a link to them, but I'm not sure that the seller will still have them. Um, anyhow, and I cleaned out the lens holder, took the old lens out, popped that out, and took all, scraped out all the old super glue in the bottom of it. There was some underneath the old lens. And then I decided I was going to try to put three drops in the existing spots that they had where they originally put the super glue in. 
and then just push down on the lens. Well, I'm going to have to get a little bit smaller injector for my super glue, I think, because I wound up with a little bit of a mess. And there you can see um, three dabs of super glue turned into bigger globs when I got done. But uh, the lens is in there, and uh, you know the, it's hitting in the center, so the super glue shouldn't bother it. So off we go to do a ramp test now. We have a piece of walnut and. Um, got the results and the results turn out being that it's at the right at the um, the old original gauge so it's a little bit about still about two and a half three millimeters higher than the um, the original lens was but you can see you can really see the, the difference there so now I'm going to try to do a couple cuts and you know see how it comes out and the first thing I noticed is the air assist seems to be uh, working a little bit better it looks like but maybe that was just because I blew it out some and the first cut I uh, I didn't quite have the settings right but I did notice it's a very thin cut um, I got to just up the power just a hair there and uh, look at how thin that line is compared to that big black one I was getting with that other new lens so let's just do one more quick cut here and again you can see there's uh, not the black smoky cuts I'm getting nice clean cuts and all the everything seems to be blowing through now so uh, hopefully everything's gonna work from now on let's just take a look at these and um, really nice tight cuts nice it looks like the kerf is a lot smaller than originally it was so okay I'm up for some abuse and I figured I'm gonna try this uh, little little rabbit cutouts I had all the trouble with the other day in the last video and I'm running it um, the same settings I got the air the air assist on so no smoke gets up in there hopefully and I noticed right away I'm getting a much finer line kind of kind of less burning and uh, actually the overall parts look a lot better now so I'm not sure what you know if it's this lens or what but uh, looks like it's a winner and um, I'm going back on eBay and ordering more before everybody buys them up usually what happens is I'll post a video and then all of a sudden I'll go back to get something and they're gone but um, and there we are going through cutting them out and let's just pull them apart and the one thing I noticed immediately you can see just how tight those curves are the old ones they used to fall right out and stuff, but you see they're like perfect. Wow. Just about a perfect uh, straight thin curve now. So uh, it looks like this, you know, really helped out some, and uh, I think this will solve most of my problem. Now we'll look into the air assist next, but for now I'm just gonna try it at this. Look at those nice light brown cuts I'm getting now, without a lot of smoke around the edges and stuff. So I think that uh, this did solve my problem, and. Um, you know, right now you can't get the lenses from the Ohm Tech, so you know this is a good option if you uh, if you have a problem with your lens. Also, I don't know if it's just me having the problems, but you know, and take the time to do a really good alignment and make sure that you've got everything focused at the both the top of the movement and the bottom of the focus distance on uh, these machines. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.